as far as what drives me, I just love it. I love spending time in the shop and uh, I love making music. That's what I was born to do. I'm Jay Gillum and uh, I'm here in Okanita, Virginia near Jonesville and just uh, another one of the many haulers here. Okanita is actually an Indian word. Uh, we, we joked back and forth, we had a telemarketer asked how it was said or something and she said Okunita and I said well that sounds Cherokee so we looked it up and it's actually an Indian word which means little game. Apparently at some point there wasn't much hunting up here but at this point, there's more deers and skunks than, than there are people. I make guitars and different instruments out of cigar boxes and license plates and cookie tins and just all sorts of different things. I've had a waiting list on them for about 15 years now and I've probably built 2,500. I started out uh, building my own instruments. I, I'd played guitar since I was 16 and mandolin and banjo and piano and uh, pretty much everything and I wanted to play something different so uh, I bought a, a dulcimer which uh, most people know you play in your lap and I couldn't get used to that and then I tried to hold it like a guitar and the body's so big that wouldn't work so I thought if I could build a dulcimer that I could hold like a guitar, then I, I would be happy. So what I did, I stumbled on cigar box guitars, and most of their, those are just no frets and three strings, which a dulcimer has three strings. So I decided to build a dulcimer from a cigar box, and I could play it like a guitar. This particular one that I actually made from a license plate and I made the box just from a piece of poplar and some plywood and the next a piece of oak. All sorts of different boxes and, and like made my own boxes, made solid bodies. I've seen guitars made out of shovels. I've never made one. I've seen them made out of deer skulls, although I've not made one yet. But they say they sound pretty good. Most of my customers are just everyday people who don't really have or don't feel they have a lot of musical talent and a simple instrument that maybe cost a hundred dollars is a lot more reasonable for them just to beat around on and make some music at home. I actually have a lot of custom work for people who are professional musicians. People busk, you know, they sit out on the street with these with battery powered homemade amps like this and uh, some even make a living like that and there's a lot of famous people uh, who have really lent a lot of popularity to cigar box guitars in the last little bit. This amp was a trumpet case. Uh, my youngest son plays trumpet and we bought this at a pawn shop and it had a trumpet in it and uh, he didn't want the case because it was so ratty looking but uh, you know, that's what attracted me to it. And I had a small battery powered amp, which just had a five inch speaker. And uh, so I just put all that together with two eight inch speakers. And I've been really tickled to death the way this sounds. I can take it anywhere. Take it hiking with me if I want to. I thought I'd actually invented a guitar dulcimer, uh, but it turns out that uh, there have been many made over the years. Actually, somebody posted a video of one that was so old and ragged it had to be a hundred years old. So I was a little behind on inventing it, but uh, I kind of invented it. So I'll take that. Cigar box guitars originated uh, its thought in the 1860s or so. There was a move from packing everything in barrels to boxes. So uh, that lent uh, something more easily made into an instrument.
there's been homemade instruments forever. People carving them out of logs and, and, and everything, but the cigar box was just the perfect size. And people who didn't have money to go buy, I mean, a guitar in 1900 cost more than a car. So people would maybe get a tobacco stick and a piece of baling wire and stick it through a cigar box. And, and before you know it, you're making music. And that's kind of really the roots of where it started. When somebody gets something I've built for them, and a lot of times they've tried to tell me what they want, but they just didn't have the words. And when they get it, they say, this was what I wanted, but I didn't know how to tell you, so. But I've been doing this for 15 or 16 years. Uh, that's just a thrill that I can give people what they want and maybe add a little uh, music and happiness in their life. And, and I just love doing it.